We've installed Tortoise HG. Let's see what happens when we change code and how to commit those changes. So I'm going to open up my repository here. I'm going to find a file like maybe my lab seven. And then I'm going to go ahead and open it up in Notepad++. Great text editor. I've got a video on installing it. If you don't have it installed, use your favorite text editor, but I love Notepad++. We've got main program open. I'm going to make a few minor changes. Save it. And then I'm going to go ahead and take a look at this. I see that main program has been modified. And in fact, if I look up here, I see lab six modified. It's letting me know that by the red exclamation point. Now that I've made that modification, I'm happy with it. I'm going to go ahead and commit to it. So I'm going to right click on this and hit HG commit. This will basically show me right down here in the lower right, the changes that have been made in the upper left. It'll show me the file that's been changed. And then it's going to allow me to comment on what's going on. I'm going to show one more thing. That's what happens when you add a file. So if I go back in here to lab six, and I do a new text document. Now that I've got the new document created, if I go up here and do a commit, you'll see that it has the modified file in blue and the other file in purple. If I commit right now, that new file will not make it in as part of the change. It's really important that any file that I want to have committed, I go ahead and check here. And if you've got a lot of new files, you can just check everything on and off by using this checkbox up here. Okay, again, don't forget, if you've got new files, make sure you check them when you do the commit so that they're in there. Next thing you can do is add a commit comment right here. Each commit, you're gonna see that particular comment that you typed in, and it is a really good idea to go ahead and type something in rather than commit without any sort of comment whatsoever because you'll never really be able to figure out when you take a look at the log what you've done from change to change. Okay, I've made that commit. And in this case, it says username is not configured. This is the first time I've done this. So it's a little bit confused on who it set, wants to say has done the commit. So I'm going to go ahead and hit configure. And then there's the username right here. And down here, they give you an example of what the username looks like. I can just right click and copy that. Paste it up here. And now I'm going to do Paul Craven and put in my email address. And click OK. Now I'm going to try commit again. It confirms that I want to add these untracked files. Yes, I do. Commit's done. That's great. And if I look here, it shows the red, there we go. The red exclamation point has changed to a green check. And I have successfully committed the new code. It is important to note that these changes only exist right now on this computer. They do not exist on the server or anywhere else. But the cool thing about these types of commitments I can go back on any commitment that I've had before, and I can share these commitments with other people. And we'll show you how to push the commitments to another server here in just a little bit in the next video.